I'm really pleased to be joined by my colleague Sarah Kahnlein, who is sales manager for Cranfield in the United States of America. But uh, she's with us this week at our factory here in South Wales. Lovely to have you with us, Sarah. Lovely to be here. Thank you. And we're addressing the question, how do you not only survive art school, but how do you thrive at art school? Now, for you, it's going into the mist of time because it was some years since you graduated with a degree in art and majoring in printmaking. But before you forget all of those valuable life skills and tips, I thought we'd ask you um, how you survived and indeed thrived at art school. And going right back to the start, when you told family and friends that you were going to art school, how did they respond? They always gave me the head tilt. It was always, what are you going to do with that? Aren't you nervous? Um, you know, how's that going to play into your life later on? Mm. And when I got asked those questions, it made me really nervous. I got a good bit of anxiety. So mm. you need to stay confident. That's one thing to definitely keep in mind when you're entering into art school. And you also then, are you suggesting you need to know why you're going so that you can uh, answer people that put the question to you? You're, you? You've got a, even if you haven't got your life mapped out, you know exactly what you're hoping to achieve. Hopefully you do, but I will say that not everyone knows what they want to do and, and maybe not even what they want to focus in. When I entered art school, I had never even done printmaking before in my life. And I remember my first printmaking class, it really just grasped me. So you just need to be safe with yourself, slow with yourself, and understand that you are learning too. And take your time. But while you're doing that, try to take advantage of as many classes as you can so that you're well-rounded. And then once you figure out what you do like, then start to focus on that, maybe into your more your senior year. Okay, yeah. so that probably leads us into a question that i like to put to you. Um, I haven't given you advanced warning, but it is, what is the capital of Paraguay? <laughs> Would you know? I have no idea well, of the capital of Paraguay. Well, neither have I. But uh, <laughs> if people know, they can write in to us here at Cranfield and they can tell us the capital Please, of Paraguay. Please, send help. Here, here's the next question. If you had to give us three tips um, to get the best out of uh, uh, your art course, what would they be? Okay, I would think one of the things that can be quite tricky and it might hurt your feelings a bit is you're going to be critiqued. You're going to be critiqued by your professors that you respect so much and your fellow classmates and they'll have very good insight. So when they're critiquing you, take it with grace and then once you do hear those critiques, let it move your work in a positive direction and, and let it make you better as an artist in school. Moving from critiques, you're going to have studio time and studio space take advantage of that. You will not have those amenities forever. And one thing I do miss is being able to be in the studio for hours at a time, sometimes by myself, which I got a lot of my best work done when I was alone in the studio, because I could focus. Um, but when you're, when you're working alone though, you are using only your brain. So another point I would like to cover is Join organizations, get involved with your fellow students, collab, 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 because in collaborations, you will be able to learn more from other people and it changes your work actually, indeed, um, and you'll be a better well-versed artist. And I suppose for a lot of artists, once they do leave college, they live quite a solitary life. Mm, yeah. So that chance to collaborate with others, as you say, is, is so important. I know in times past you've reflected on your college life, um, particularly now that you're working with a manufacturer of artist materials, and uh, you've changed your thinking perhaps about uh, the quality of inks and paints that you used at the time. Indeed, I had some of my best ideas because I was very creative. You're going through different growth processes in art school, and I had some of my best ideas, but it is very important to use the best quality materials you can because your work will decay over time, it will crack, things will happen. So try to get access to the best materials you can and that's that's another very good point. So use a, a little of the best rather than the lot of the whatever comes from a DIY store. Absolutely. Yeah, aim high. Well, yeah. thank you very much indeed for chatting to us and for your helpful insights in how not only to survive but thrive at art school. Absolutely, thank you, so thank you Michael. Yeah, not at all.